Over for two hours because of swirling winds to give Steve Ovitt a chance to get at that world record which he holds and which he sent in Koblenz last August, 331.36. A marvellous field, 13 athletes, Bob Ben is there with him, Hadlifa begins to go to the front, Ovitt finds a way through, John Robson is there as well and Ben is clearly the pacemaker and this is what was expected. Bob Ben must set a sensible time at 800 meters and news has it that the great John Walker who's in there in fifth place at the moment will take up the all-important third lap and try and ease Steve Ovitt on his way to yet another world record at 1500 meters. He looks so relaxed as Bob Ben comes around They've delayed this race, as I was saying, for nearly two hours in the hope that the wind would drop. It still is one of the big factors in this Nep Stadium, but the 20,000 crowd anxiously awaiting to see how he's going to run against the clock. And incidentally, the clock here has been out by more than a second all night. Bob Ben from Surrey, himself a very good 800-meter runner, the constant companion of Steve Ovitt running around Europe. And now John Walker, the former Olympic champion at 1,500 meters, eases into third. John Robson is fourth and that Omar Khalifa of Sudan and of Loughborough University, incidentally, who's running in fifth. Ben, sensible at pacemaking, looking nice and relaxed, but look how Ovid looks. It really is. No matter who's in the race, all eyes are on this man to see how he's going to run against the clock. It never occurs to anyone that he could be beaten. Walker has said he'll test him, he'll push him over 300, but if there's any chance of beating him, he'll go out to beat him. Ben coming up, good pacing this, 54-7, it was slightly down at 400 metres, but if he can pick up the second lap, then this world record will still be on. John Walker edging past over it because he knows he's got to take up the running now as they come past 800 metres. And Walker, if he senses that Ben's dropping and Ben is dropping, Walker takes up the running and over it will go past Ben and Ben's done a good job. 1.54.2, it's still nearly a second outside the complaint schedule, but Walker is picking it up nicely now. And Ovid is going after him, and Robson, good to see him back in form, is chasing Steve Ovid. Steve Ovid wearing the Brighton Phoenix vest, the club that he's formed so recently, with his training partner, Matt Patterson. Now it's all up to the big New Zealander. Tough himself, one of the world's great miler 1500 meter runners of the last decade, and still in superb form. They come up with just over 400 meters to go, and they're on schedule. A good 400 meters means that that record could go yet again to Ovid. But he must go away because Walker looks as though he's fading. He should go and attack and go on his own. There's no one else near him. And for Ovid, it's now a run against the clock, uncertain, and away he goes. Ovid goes down the back straight. The 20,000 going mad, Walker's faded. Look at the gap that he opens up as he accelerates away. But has he left it too late? It really is a great run now. No looking back, going for it. 200 meters into the bend, Ovid against the clock. Looking absolutely majestic. He does have a look to see if anyone's there, but who could possibly be there? Ovid into the home straight. There'll be no cheering to the crowd now. It really is a battle against the clock, and he's still on schedule. It's very close indeed, as Ovid comes up to the line in another magnificent run. But what will he do on the clock? And it's there or thereabouts. Khalifa battles for second place against Joe Walker, but nobody can tell Ovet what he's done. And we think it may be marginally outside. The 331-36 stands, I'm sure. The official time we have, 331-57. He's missed it by 21 one hundredths of a second. He's run the second fastest time ever. He's now around.